My name is Caitlin Maloney and I'm the Director of Marketing on the Travel Category at Condé Nast. Uh, and this is my fiance, Ricky. Hello. <laughs> and this is our camper van that we've rented for our great drive to Shenandoah and the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're heading down to Shenandoah National Park and then on to drive the Blue Ridge Parkway through to Asheville, North Carolina. We're looking forward to beautiful views, solid hikes, campfire cooking, and just being out in nature for a while. All right, we just hit the road. We're driving down to Virginia and camping near the top of Shenandoah National Park. Good morning. It's about 8 a.m. We just got up from our van and we're in some beautiful woods. So we decided to take this trip as a little bit of an alternative. We were supposed to be in Europe this week visiting my Nana for her 90th birthday. She lives in the UK where all of my family on that side is. We're postponing that trip, not canceling it. And we decided that it would be a good time to try out this trip. Just popped down for four hours last night and now we're in this beautiful area full of fall foliage and farmlands and it's, um, it's really nice to check out this part of the country that I've maybe taken for granted being so close to for so long. We are entering Shenandoah National Park. I think we're going to make our way down to about kind of the middle-ish area of the park where there's a few different little hikes I want to do. Still driving. Still driving. Something. That might be the Shenandoah River down there. We are on the Mary's Rock Trailhead. We just entered on the Mary's Rock Trailhead. Now we are hiking to the summit. And I think we found our colored leaves. Lots of yellow today. We're in a quiet little corner of the summit atop Mary's Rock. It's a really, really beautiful view. And now we're back on Skyline Drive, heading down to a more chill loop trail to another beautiful overlook because it's golden hour and we want to catch some rays of sun. My mountain man over here is currently sharpening a stick so that we can stab these here dogs and stick them in that here fire. It's Sunday morning. We did a little dispersed camping last night. We're going to try to do a couple more hikes today and then drive most of the length of the park uh, before this evening. And then we're going to be crashing with a friend in Charlottesville. Dunkin' Donuts. Run to the trail. Entering the park. Day two. Ricky is packing up a lunch back there, making some Sammies. Day two hiking in Shenandoah National Park. We're gonna do a little loop that we found on a National Parks app that hopefully will allow us to skirt some of the crowds and some of the really popular waterfall hikes in the park. We're gonna go by Dark Hollow Falls and Rose River and some other things. It's called the Rose River Loop. And here we go. All right, we're at the first waterfall of the Rose River Loop Trail. We got a mushy who wants to try it. <laughs> We're in the big meadows in Shenandoah National Park. Unsurprisingly, it's big and it's a meadow. The area of Bird Visitor Center is behind me. We're gonna take a walk through these meadows and hope the sun comes back out and bathes them all in some golden afternoon glow. <laughs> Bad idea. Back on the road, driving straight into the sun to do the remainder of Skyline Drive and head out of Shenandoah National Park for this trip. Head into Charlottesville to stay with a friend in their guest house tonight. But looking forward to the rest of the drive in the nice golden hour light. Alright, 
Time to eat. We just left Charlottesville and we're getting on the Blue Ridge Parkway, one of the most exciting driving parts of our great drive. Heading down to Boone, North Carolina. We might do some fun stops along the way. We made a little pit stop off of the Blue Ridge Parkway, took a little detour to the caverns at Natural Bridge. I've never been in a cave, so we're gonna go for it. Yeah, pretty exciting. See how cavernous or not it is. The next tour is not for another 45 minutes, so while we wait, we've purchased this bag of sand. We're gonna go run it through uh, some kind of mining apparatus to see if we can find any exciting gems. Knife skill is not my forte. All right, here we go. All right, what's it gonna be? I really like rocks, so this is very exciting. All right, we're in a cave. Just finished our little detour to the caverns at Natural Bridge. They were pretty neat. We're making our way down to Boone, North Carolina. We're gonna get an early night's sleep. Today's been free of hiking because tomorrow we're doing a real big hike. Got homemade beef carrot ragu, chicken sausages from our local farm at home, spinach, garlic, natty wine, and a table in a van. We are headed to Grandfather Mountain to do what is probably the most technically challenging hike we've ever done. Wish me luck. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll check in from the top. Go for it. <laughs> I love where you get the evergreen trees mixed in with all the turning trees. Making our way down off Grandfather Mountain after our hike. We did it. What I really liked about this hike was that it was about the hike, not you weren't just trying to get to a point with a vista, whatever. It was really all about yeah. the journey to get philosophical. But if I could say one thing, it's stop what you're doing right now, pause this video, and go outside. Being outside is the best, and nature is the best, and public land should be protected, and the planet should be protected, and everyone should go do some four hour hikes and feel much better about the world and life. All set up at Linville Falls Campground. It's pretty great. I took a hot shower, I like a real one. Sticks are on. I mean, honestly, <laughs> screw your campsite dinner. <laughs> We just parked in the River Arts District here in Asheville, North Carolina. It's a lot of industrial building, shipping container type stuff like you tend to see in a lot of up and coming cities or smaller cities in these artist communities. And lots of cool murals on the wall. Looks like there's a little complex here with some barbecue. food and drinks. Ricky smells barbecue, which is the thing that he's gonna have to We're eat. <laughs> right uh, and we'll show you around as we discover the sites. Here we have the first of Ricky's North Carolina barbecue experiences. Guessing it will not be the last. Pretty sure of that. This place also has a brewery. So I've got my first Asheville craft beer. I'm really into sours, so excited about it. Follow the hopscotch for beer. Your girl loves a pun. We got the scotch. We got a hops. Hops. Scotch. <laughs> I'm here in downtown Asheville, doing a little driving around. We're headed to a place called Shoji, a little Japanese bathhouse and spa. 
situation to treat ourselves to a little soak after all our days of hiking and camping. We're going to be in a little private area with a private bath that is outdoors so it all feels really safe and I'm really looking forward to it. Japanese spa. A little bamboo forest going on. Cool. A little rolled action. <laughs> We're going down to our private tub. It's a beautiful morning here in Hendersonville, North Carolina at our super cute Airbnb on a super cute farm. And we're gonna head back into Asheville, which is about 45 minutes north, and grab some lunch and check out some more stuff. Very excited to have linked up with my best friend Emily Hi. and her boyfriend Alex, Hello. aka Frenchie. Really good looking tacos here. Ricky is leaving with the van, heading on to Charlotte without me. Got some some business because he's actually to do. part of the impetus for this whole trip is he has to be in Charlotte for some work. Bye. Surprise! Yeah, another hike. This time with Emily and Alex. Ricky went ahead to Charlotte. We're taking the long way. You're on the side of a mountain. A wild Alex appears. <laughs> Three, two, one, jump! It is Saturday morning, and the gang's back together, me, Ricky, and Needles here, back in the van. It is 5.41. We've been in the car since 10.15, yeah. so it feels like we're starting to get closer. But we still got another three hours minus stuff, so I'll do my best to stay awake and keep my captain company here. And I'm almost home. In a year of canceled travel plans, it was pretty amazing to find some of America's best scenery hiding not too far from home and to cross another national park off our list. A lot of our best memories have been made on the road together, and this adventure definitely delivered.